mass incarceration has been very destructive. It's a big problem because in our communities it takes a lot of people away. And in most cases what we've been seeing it takes the children. It's not so much issues that happen in school, we're worried about what happens when you kick the kid out and they're out of school. What, when they leave that safe space, what happens? Um, when I was 11, I was expelled from my school, so I was in sixth grade. Because this guy was always trying to like make fun of me, um, just really pick on me, and no one. I asked my teachers, and no one ever helped me do anything about it. And so I confronted him, and he tried to hit me. And um, I remember I was actually gonna hit him back too, but I actually slipped. And I, next thing I knew, like everyone was fighting, and so I was arrested. Um, I was giving a, oh, they gave me a $500 ticket. And my driver's license was suspended. I was only 11. You know, when you start start treating youth like suspects, they become suspects, right? They start exhibiting those behaviors. So that's why we say it's a track. It's not necessarily a pipeline. It's a route that's already been selected. But what we want to do is we want to end it. The school to jail track pushes students out of school and into lockup. The current school system and security policies create schools that look and act more like prisons. The Youth Justice Coalition is a youth-led organization that works to challenge race, gender, and class inequality in California's juvenile and criminal justice systems. The thing that sets YJC apart for me, a lot of our base are youth, our decision makers are youth. We engage our youth to be leaders. It's also a youth-led space, specifically um, by youth that have either been impacted by the system or are formerly incarcerated. If we see something in the community that directly affects our people, then we get inspired to try and fight and try to help them. I just don't want to see no more of my people going straight from school to prison. Free LA is a service provided by Youth Justice Coalition. We serve young people on the border of South Central and Inglewood. The uh, students that we take are the students that generally the public school system has felt being discarded, pushed them out and just said, hey, forget about them. But we bring them here and you know what? They graduate. They move on to college. So they're not, they're not what people think they are. They're great kids. What makes us different is not just that we emphasize social justice, but we put it into practice. We try to get our students to, act to do actions once a week, and action basically is either um, visiting the Board of Supervisors, participating in public comment, visiting Sacramento, uh, lobbying with, uh, with our st state you know, assembly members. Part of our curriculum is to just really educate them about how the system really works, to bring the history that's been deleted from the textbook. So I do think that a school like Free LA is needed to show people that you don't need police in schools and you, need, you have peace builders which are people that have their own experience that have been able to you know overcome it and guide them another way than calling the police or giving them a ticket. My job is to promote peace without a peace. My job is to not for me to have a, a fire on for you to fear me. My job is to, for you to respect me, and I respect you, and man, we have a better space. We're not going to give up on you, we just need you not to give up on yourself. So everyone needs an opportunity, and everyone deserves a chance over and over and over again if necessary. Without free LA in this neighborhood, in this neighborhood alone, it'd be many more on the street. Free LA High. It wasn't an overnight change, but because people showed me their care and people showed me there were different ways of making money, different ways of expressing yourself, and different, different ways of going around, going about conflicts. That's when I decided, you know, I'm gonna take a different path. And I believe that a lot of youths are just like me because the youths are the future of tomorrow. If we don't get up and fight for our people and we don't get up and fight for our future, then who's gonna get up and fight for us?